Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2025, and we are here in the booth of Siemens Health and Ears. We're here with uh, Tim Glabinski and Bland Lee of the X-Ray Products Division. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much. Thanks, Brian. So, can you guys tell us a little bit about the X-Ray Products Division and what some of the products uh, that you guys feature? Sure. Here in XP, we cover radiography, fluoroscopy, women's health, urology, you know, all your bread and butter stuff with imaging. So this is really kind of the foundation of radiology, right? Absolutely. And what sort of clinical applications are people using these systems for? So for radiography, it's your general x-ray, obviously. Fluoroscopy, we have lots of GI studies, arthrograms, lumbar punctures. Uh, a lot of the standard things you'll find with an RF. All right, very good. Now, you guys had a pretty major product launch this year, and we're going to learn a little bit about that, right, Blan? Yeah, absolutely. We're really happy to have the Luminous QNAMICS product here today. And that's the one that's, that's right behind us? Yep, absolutely. Yep. Well, behind us, we have the Luminos QNAMX R, which is the remote version of the system. And then we also have the uh, Luminos QNAMX T available. Okay. And what are some of the features on the system and, and what does it do? Yeah, so Luminos QNAMX systems were really designed as a result of a lot of user feedback uh, that our research and development department did with our current users on the current systems. Uh, they got a lot of feedback about a lot of things and really wanted to integrate as many of those solutions as possible into the final system to make it as user-friendly and still effective as possible. Okay. And, and what are some of the major features that, that clinicians are finding useful on the system? So one of the big things is the embedded care package. Uh, it's a suite of software and hardware improvement things that will help improve the workflow as well as improve the dose controls of the system. Things like histogram-based dose regulation, snapshot mode, proactive fluoro loop, care profile, care position. Those are all things that really help at the end of the day improve the lives of the technologists and clinicians using the systems. All right, very good. Now I understand the system does have FDA clearance. You're starting to make installations of it. R is the remote version, T is the table version. Mm -hmm. And how are you seeing the, 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 the sales of the system divide up in the US? Well, the US has always been more of a table side system country. And uh, what we've seen more recently is more of a shift. So you know, we're still seeing a lot of table side systems go out the door, but remote systems are picking up a lot of pace right now too. Mm. And uh, any other trends that are going on in, uh, in, in the x-ray segment that you see as being significant? What about applications like AI, things like that? Yeah, so the AI aspect of the system is really focused in on the uh, radiology portion. Uh, things like auto thorax collimation, auto long leg, uh, auto uh, spine uh, collimation, those are all things that really help the technologists have a more consistent image quality and improve their workflow. Yeah, because there is kind of a, there's a real shortage of technologists out there and anything we can do to make their jobs easier is, is going to be really helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's made a big difference for a lot of people. All right. Well, Tim Glubinski and Blan Lee of Siemens Health and Ears, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. Signing off from RSNA 2025, my name is Brian Casey.